Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and we are here to show you a really cool little trick over on Crystal Isles where you can get a load of silica pearls. The settings right now are on 1.0 official settings, so you can see what I actually get out of this. I haven't leveled this anglerfish. It's got okay stats. I'll go ahead and level it to a level that's reasonable. Um, give it a bunch of stam and wait so you can actually see what the actual cave that we're about to go hit is worth. But this is, we're going to a ton of silica pearls. Now here's the best part. When we get these silica pearls, it's also crazy, crazy safe. Now that's that's awesome. When you're getting silica pearls, one of the easiest things to do is forget that, you know, a lot of the areas you want to go with this thing are not safe. However, this method, I'll show you a really easy one. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to these coordinates. Now there's two entrances. I'll show you the other entrance at the end of this. It's basically the bear cave crystal-ish area. 38.5, uh, 18.9. Now, if you go to this cave, basically, you're just going to swim straight down. Now, you're going to see a little bit of a ledge here. And then outside of this ledge, you'll do another quick swim straight down. Now, once you get down here, you're going to notice a cave opening. Yes, this guy right here. Now, the benefit about this one, it's lit really well. And uh, in this cave, you can have a ton, 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 ton of access to uh, a bunch of easy resources. Now, I'll talk about some of the other stuff in here in other videos, but this is probably the easiest and safest way to get silica pearls. Um, you just have to go in just a little bit in order to actually get to the pearls themselves, but you can kind of see it's very similar to the Ragnarok um, Pearl Cave, but there's actually probably not just as many, but it's safer. No megalodons, nothing spawns down in here. And uh, you can kind of just collect things as you go. So, yeah. So, very... Yeah, look at this. It's just... That's nice. I'm not going to complain about that. Um, so, on one times, we are getting a very large sum because there are just so many clustered sets of pearls right now. Um, and they're all over these little ledges. And you kind of just, like, swim up and down this little thing right here. Um, notice you can't collect these guys with that anglerfish. This is a black pearl access, but unfortunately, because it's under the water, we can't actually get it. Uh, there's no way to gather that, so that kind of sucks. But, um, oh well, it still kind of shows you that there's a bunch of pearls right there. I mean, we just got 1,100 pearls, and this is on the official settings, so that's pretty crazy in my opinion. Uh, and you just kind of swim around this little cave, and there's no real wrong way to go about it, because it's only a one-way cave, I think is a good way to put it. And uh, as you're going, it kind of gets indicated by these little clams on the wall when you see the clams there's usually a huge cluster of pearls nearby and you just start swinging away and there's like larger ones smaller ones and they're all pretty good for gathering a bunch of oh there's an anglerfish down here i've never seen one down here before um so anyways you can gather a bunch of stuff that way uh and pretty cool there's two anglerfish wow that's impressive uh, so anyways, uh, you just keep swimming around, and I'll kind of keep going on my little pearl run and explain to you some of the best things you can do down here. Because it's a deep zone, as long as you have a tech suit or access to a uh, scuba tank, you'll be pretty set to get a whole bunch of pearls. Um, so it's pretty easy. I'll, I don't know what the actual... I've never actually done it fully to see what the actual gathering is in this cave. Um, but I know that you can get quite a bit. I usually only go down because, I, I mean, I don't really ever build that big, but I know some official tribes are going to want to go ahead and build as big as possible. Uh, they'll, they'll gather a whole bunch. I mean, there's tons of element ore down here, which is pretty nice. Um, we've used that for skiffs, and I'll show you a video about that later. A lot of people forget that that's a possibility, um, but it's pretty easy. Uh, and obviously not as much as spawning right now because I hit it pretty recently, but you will get some that spawn on the ground. You'll get some that spawn up high. And most of them spawn over near the actual uh, bear cave, because this is where it ends up, and you just swim this cave, and you end up over at the uh, bear honey cave, which is kind of cool. I mean, in my opinion, at least. Yeah, lots of element ore, lots of access to easy stuff down here. You can get a dunk. I think a donkey can get them. Uh, another cool thing for you, see these little, like, splotches? And I'll show you this in another video. You can gather that for oil. Pretty cool oil splotch gathering technique. I don't know if you got early game access and need some quick oil it's all over the place down here so you can't really complain about that uh, there's down in this cave though there's just loads of resources we're almost getting to the real crystal -y area um, and once you get past that you can get to the area that there's just a load 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 of silica pearls and just kind of showing you what it looks like there's only one way in one way out so it's not like a, uh, a confusing route you can only literally do one or two different things in here um, in regards to actually losing yourself, 
but uh, it's, it's pretty easy. You kind of just make sure you're paying attention and you won't get lost. Uh, again, these little ledges, just clean them off and you'll get a whole bunch of silica pearls. Um, now, there are other ways to get them. I know there's some pretty close to the surfaces and in some caves and stuff like that. But in my opinion, I like doing this because there's an artifact down here. If I bring a pickaxe, I can gather a whole bunch of other stuff as well. And here's where it starts to get really nice with all the silica pearls. Uh, because you can kind of just swim in circles and get loads and loads and loads. So, I mean, they're, they're clustered, which is really helpful as well. So you don't really miss them. All right, let's see how much I can actually get on this run. I'm really kind of curious now at this point because, well, it's easy to do these runs. It doesn't take long, and you can always just fly over here, pull out your anglerfish, and you are good to go. Um, so there is an angler spawn in here, too. So I did not know there was an angler spawn in here, so keep that in mind for taming those things because obviously needing anglers is pretty important. Okay, so you can start to see what I'm talking about with this crazy amount of silica pearls, by the way. So this is just one run, one time. So obviously, I have a very high melee anglerfish, and that helps a lot. So don't forget that. If you're on a multiplied server, you're probably going to be gathering, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 pearls per bite. So, yeah, pretty nice. And quick little run here. I don't know if I see anything else over in this region. And this backside just, oh boy, loading in the map now. Uh, so loading in the map, pretty easy. Let's go ahead and swim up this way. And you can see, and I probably missed quite a few little patches down there, but I was kind of just trying to hustle through it so you could see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, we are up in the bear cave, the honey cave right now. Just so I can show you, I just got 5,500 silica pearls. Not too shabby. And then you can safely get in this way. You can hop off, cryo up your tame, and you're good to go. So anyways, hope this video helps you out. And uh, easy silica pearl access to each. Out.